So if we turn first to the promoter, Top Rank Incorporated, alongside Ireland's very own Conlon Boxing, I'm joined by the main man, Jamie Conlon. Jamie, tell us a little bit about this card, how tough it's been to put it together and what the fans can expect. I think uh, the fans can expect potentially the best all-Irish fight in history. Um, TJ Dehaney, in my opinion, should, should have been unified world champion in 2018, I think. Uh, 2019, he um, pushed Danny Roman to the limit. I thought he was, was the winner back then, IBF champion, and should have been WBA. Against Michael Conlon, again, who is the only Irish amateur male world champion. It's probably a first, because there's no other Irish man who's ever been home world champion as an amateur against a world champion professional. It's, it's something that dreams, are tr dreams come true for Irish boxing. These two, I believe, are two of the best boxers in the country, pound for pound. TJ's done, proved it in Japan, he's proved it uh, in America. Mick has proved it all over the world in amateur level, and this is his opportunity to prove it as a pro. Both of them will see this opportunity perfect for each other. TJ will see Mick as the perfect opponent to bring him back to world level. Mego will see TJ as the perfect opponent to become world champion. It makes all the ingredients for a fantastic fight, a fire fight, a great technical fight, a fight that both lads will have as much confidence going in as the other. It just adds to that we actually bit of salt that we are bringing big time boxing back to Belfast. We're bringing live boxing back to Belfast. Audience is back to Ireland. It's it's. It's the hope, it's the light at the end of the tunnel for, for sports fans all around Ireland. Jimmy, uh, you mentioned Belfast a couple of times there, and uh, quite rightly, I first tasted boxing in Belfast, oh, 2010. Uh, you were on the bill, four rounder against a guy, Hussein Husseinov. And um, once then I was hooked on Belfast. Pound for pound, probably the finest boxing city in the world. Um, Mick's home fight in two years. Y you're going to expect the crowd to go absolutely crazy, surely. <laughs> They've been starved of anything for, you know, since this pandemic started. It's, it, it, I don't know what kind of atmosphere we're going to get. I, th I thought 2019 would never be, be topped, but Feeling the, the, the energy throughout the city when, when we announced this, this card, when we announced boxing was coming back, and then the additional buzz when we announced this fight, the, the magnitude of the fight and the, the ramifications the winner will have, um, it's, it's a cauldron. It will be a cauldron. I believe on Friday, the 6th of August, Belfast will be rocking, and it will all, the centre of Belfast will be the false park. So TJ, as we said, uh, you in 2012 moved overseas and competed all of your pro life um, in the Southern Hemisphere. We, we spoke yesterday at the, the public workout and I mentioned the fact that you went into Iwasa's backyard in Japan. He was the favorite 2018. You took that belt from him and you responded and said that your best work is done when you are the away fighter, when everybody is against you. Do you believe, although this is also your Ireland homecoming, it is, it is Mike's, uh, or Mick's, Mick's homecoming, you will be the away fighter. Do you believe that that will be the case on Friday? The crowd will be against you. It will spur you on to give us your best work. So first off, I just want to welcome everybody here, and um, thanks for turning out and showing your support for the show. Um, yeah, moving on to the fight. Um, yeah, I'm coming out. I'm coming down here, and uh, I'm, I'm coming down as the away fighter. But everyone keeps mentioning that. But and like I said yesterday, the best form, performance of my career. Not that I've asked to be the away fighter, but the best performance of my career seemed to be when I am the away fighter. And um, we see that with the shifts I've put in. I've went and snatched the world title from Iwasa. Absolutely washed Danny Roman for a, a good majority of the fight. And um, the body shots kind of got me towards the end. But, um, yeah, I won't, be I won't be fazed by the crowd here when, um, on Friday night. I'm actually excited to fight in front of a Belfast crowd because uh, there, there are. And I'm not just saying it because I'm here. You guys are, like, the most passionate fans in the world. I'd love to have a city like this behind me. 
but unfortunately I'm a bit of a road warrior I gotta go around and uh, just keep on upsetting the odds you know like I'm gonna do on Friday night and um, yeah I'm just really excited to get it to get it on we spoke to to Mick after the well, after you were in the public workout, um, he was told what you said about, you know, being one of your toughest tests, but also the fact that um, that brings the best out on you. Uh, and Mick said that you were going to be his toughest test. However, he was sure that whatever you brought, be it um, gameplay A, B, C or D, that he would work out an answer for it. Uh, what, what would you respond to that? Yeah, well, look, every fighter's got to be confident going into a fight. He's not going to turn up and say, I'm going to lose Friday, is he? You Absolutely. Know, so, not. Yeah, so it's the same, same with myself, you know. I'm 100% confident in this. Um, I back myself to the hilt. I wouldn't accept accepted this fight at Super Bantamweight um, if I didn't, you know. But um, as I say as well, you know, Michael hasn't been the most professional. And, you know, there's a, there's a discrepancy there that he might be able to make 122, so... I'm just in talks with my manager at the minute and my, um, my, my team just to see what's going to go, what's going to go down. And um, hopefully we can rub out these discrepancies and uh, we can have a fight on Friday night. DJ, thank you. We'll possibly get some questions from, uh, from the assembled press um, just after we've finished here. We turn to, to the main man, to Michael Mick Conlon, two times Olympian. Uh, perfect professional record, 15 and 0, 8 KOs. Uh, two years since you've been in front of a crowd, you're back in the same place you were the last time you were in front of a crowd in your home city, in Falls Park. How do you feel? Um, I'm delighted to be back. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out again. Like yesterday, it's been fantastic, uh, fantastic turnout. So I'm looking forward to Friday. It's, it's an atmosphere which you know, if you could bottle it and sell it, it would be worth millions of pounds. So um, I'm excited for it. I'm looking forward to it. I'm prepared and I'm ready to go. We asked Adam and he gave us a, a, a very concise answer as to what you'd been doing in training, how that affects your, your performance and what to expect at the weekend. But um, you're here, you're sitting with your opponent. Um, do you want to echo what you said to me yesterday, whatever he brings? Uh, you will have an answer to? 100%. Um, listen, TJ is a very experienced fighter, a, a world-class fighter. He's shown that time and time again. And a guy who has been up, and ups, upset the apple cart any time he's been in someone's back garden. But this is different. It's, it's like, you know, I, I, I know everything he has I have an answer for. He's very confident. He's, he's a tough guy. But... I believe I'm a better fighter, and I, I think I'll show up for anything. The the fans are expecting a fantastic night. Um, it's maybe an unfair question, but guys like me always ask it: Is it going to be a short night? Is it going to be a long night? It will be whatever need it will be. <laughs> Good answer. That's all I'm saying. You know, uh, whether, whether or not you know, if, it, if it goes short, it goes long. I'll be victorious, and that's all I know. Mick, thank you. Uh, can we throw it open to, to the press? Uh, anybody on the floor would like to, to ask a question? Andy? Did you said discrepancies. Can you elaborate on that? Um, well, the fight's, been, the fight's been agreed upon before, before I even flew to the US to start my training camp that we were going to be fighting in a 10-round ten ten contest at Falls Park. TJ, stop battling it. At 122 pounds. You're battling it. What's that? Just forget it. You're, forget the what? fight's happening. Are you going to walk away? Forget what? Well, you're, you're battling forget it. What? You're battling it. You're losing your balls. You think I'm Simple not, as I'm that. Not, you're losing your balls. I'm, I'm not, I'm not battling it. You're losing your balls. Go get on your flight. Fuck off. Just trying to tell the story. That's all. Don't be getting upset now because you can't make weight. So. Don't be getting upset because that's all you'll be doing because you have the boxing run because that's all you do because you can't crack an egg. You can't, what are you talking about cracking egg? You've fought your whole thing in Australia and Asia. Relax, calm down, Fighting bums, look at all the guys who've fought. Down, yeah, you, they're down, all have to be knocked out by oh, everybody after. Are you going to cry? Calm down and pray, then. you'll see. This chap's going to start crying. You all right, son? You want a hug? You want a hug, son? It's not my fault you can't make no 122. Balls, no balls, you're running down from 126 to no 122 balls, and you can't even make it. Who's the one with no balls? No I've been balls, all over mate. the world and proven myself. Easy now, son, easy. 
was agreed at one two four, and and then when you heard it was when when six. was agreed Sunday night You're, Sunday night you agreed Sunday you agreed night. I never agreed you agreed never agreed nothing two weeks ago. Agreed. Ah, you're full of it shit. It was agreed. Two weeks ago, it was agreed. Yeah, so, anyways, to get back to because he's trying to cut me table. off. Now you're going one, there's two, discrepancies that no still needs to be worked out. It still needs to be worked out. I've proven, he said a second ago, I've proven time and time again that I've, I'm a world class fighter around the world. So, how do I have no balls? This fight, this, this fight will, um, will be, we'll have to sort it out. 